Hello again, everybody. This is Justin the Auto Expositor, the 16th of October. Um, I have another comment here. Now, this one isn't a private one. Um, this is by Wayne Johnson. This was a this was two days ago. Um, it was a great comment, so I figured I would address this one as well. Um, so <clears throat> It is in agreement with me in some ways, and then there's one part where I, I kind of disagree, um, but I see where he's coming from, and I'd love to have this discussion or open it up to the rest of the people. So, he says, I agree with Justin has to say regarding the truth movement. Um, I've been thinking of this and asked myself, how can you bring change and help spread if you have or if you can't or haven't fixed up your yard first? I believe this was... In regards to truth over unity, Wayne, please forgive, uh, please forgive me uh, if I'm incorrect. Let me know if I'm wrong. Um, but I believe it's talking about truth over unity and the episode before where we're talking about are we being fooled by WD, uh, WDVJ and LGBT and then into the truth over unity to respond to Jeff's big address. So, um, I'll keep going. Yes, sure, you may take some things personally. That part, I believe, may not be helped. But truth is truth, and you can't let your ego take over you when listening to what is true. Um, I noticed that as soon as Justin started touching upon this, making pretty good points, he gets attacked. And this was supposed to be a truth movement? The NWO would only attack those opposing their agendas. Um, how is this movement any different to these NWO social justi justice movements, for example? I just think that if you really want to stay true and make a change, it starts within you. Thank you very much. Uh, I was a uh, junior lifeguard. I won't say a full-fledged one. Um, and what you're taught in lifeguarding is if there's a situation where the two of you could be in like say you're saving somebody, and you, the two of you could be in danger, right? Uh, you are trained to uh, put the person you are rescuing uh, in front of you to block you, to stop you from getting hurt, okay? Um, before you can uh, go ahead and save that person. So rather than putting yourself in the way to take the hit or whatever it is, um, you are supposed to take the person you are rescuing and put it in front of you. Um, now I don't advocate, you know, <laughs> like, I, like, I, I don't think it's a pretty crappy, like, it kind of sounds like a bad idea, but in a way it makes sense, okay? Because if you can't save yourself, you can't save others, right? And, um, if I wasn't able to look at my problems as to how I got myself into the mess, with being in the truth cult, the, the Jeffuit cult, or whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, if I, if I just focused on myself and why I'm, I'm in here in the first place, you know, I think I would have been a lot more effective waking people up had I had woken myself up first to the problems at which I have. And listen... When I started making this, uh, this channel, I mean, everybody's calling me crazy now, which is okay. You can call me whatever you want. I came out and said I had a mental illness. Of course I'm going to get that. Um, but all of these problems, all of them, um, it was, it, this was all like, and, and full-fledged, just like right now, um, before I even started making videos. Okay, so like nothing has changed. The only thing that has actually changed is that I admitted it to people. Okay, and of course I'm going to get, I, I am going to get flack from that. Um, it's unfortunate, but it is a necessary thing. You know, you got to, if you really want to help others, you got to help yourself first. Okay, and I was going around here thinking that I was right all the time and all that stuff or whatever. This is a crisis actor. This is a hoax and stuff like that. When really the illusion could have been within me. Um, so, in looking at this, it's... I, I don't think I'm the only one in this movement. In fact, I think there's a lot of people in this movement. 
um, that are codeps, codependents, just like myself, active or passive, um, with, with other, because obviously I don't have that. Behind codependence is anxiety usually, um, uh, things like PTSD, and of course there's hybrids along with it. I didn't really need to bring up anything else, but this was the, the main reason why I got myself into this mess, so I figured that would be important to tell you, right? So me being able to look at that was, was what gave me the ability to see that Jeff was a narcissist, okay? The, to, to see why I allowed myself to get into the, the, the cult in the first place. So, yeah, you, it's true. Uh, and in the Bible, it says take the speck out of your own eye before you try and take the plank out of somebody else's or tell them about their plank. Um, I, I butchered that verse. Sorry, guys. But you, you know which one I'm talking about. Um, and it's the truth. It is the truth. We have a lot of people, I think, that are out there, whether they want to admit it or not, ha there, there are problems. And you know what? If you can't admit it, I promise you that the New World Order, they're certainly taking advantage of it, okay? And especially when, you know, codependency and narcissism, it, it deals a lot with vanity, okay? Um, the inability to see your self-worth, therefore you overreact in different ways, right? Um, these things are pathological, and, and the NWO will take advantage of it. And, and I think that it's not limited to just the truth movement. I, I think that in the Black Lives Matter and all these kind of things, it's all, it's, you know, they're, they're trying to take care of themselves first and all that kind of stuff. And the NWO, just like he's saying, these are NWO social justice groups. And I don't see any difference in, in ours. So I think the most important thing is um, to be able to look uh, at your own problems. You don't have to say them publicly like myself. I mean, look at the amount of attacks that I'm getting, right? Uh, further to talk about his points, yeah, we're trying to bring up something that goes against the norm and we get attacked. Well, yeah, that's, that's what's going to happen in any cult. It's going to happen in any cult. Going to Mormonism, going to Scientology, they're all going to love bomb you. They will all love bomb you. Okay, they're gonna and they're gonna tell you about because they love you and because you're so smart and everything, you're gonna learn what the true religion is. You're gonna learn what the truth really is, right? There's no difference right now between us and and, and all that stuff. These are all just uh, cults. It really is. I mean, I, I know that a cult is a harsh word, but if you look into the what a cult really is, yeah, that's what it is. The only thing I, I really want to try and break in this comment, or not break, but, and not even debunk, but the NWO would only attack those opposing their agendas. Um, maybe, maybe not. I think that if you have these people in that mentality that they would only do it, if the NWO knows that you're like that, what they will probably try and do if you're on to something, uh, if you're going down a rabbit hole, right, and, and you're, you're getting distracted from what they want you to get at, the, there's a logical reason to think that they would attack you if they believe that that would lead you to believe that you're on the right track and therefore continue down that rabbit hole. So there is... Yeah, yeah, it, it's hard, and it, that's hard to tell. So what I think is important is, is try not to worry about what how other people are reacting, um, and instead, like you're saying, let's fix up our own yard first, guys. We have everybody out there in the world. There is nobody out there that's a hundred percent healthy. There's nobody out there that's that's perfect. We all have things to work on, right? Um, and I think the, the more that we focus on the things we need to work on, that's not a, it's not a bad thing to be selfish in that way, to work at that, right? And in fact, once you start doing so, once you see the problems in yourself, you can better reason the problems that you see in the world, and, and, you, can, and you can relate to them better. So, thank you so much for the comment. It was great, Wayne, and anybody who would like to um, answer that please do so below. Thank you very much. This has been the Auto Expositor.
beware of wolves in sheep's clothing.